worst youtuber apology ever everybody is talking about this i gotta check what the hell is going on all right like what is going why is everyone talking about this i mean let's be honest youtuber apologies bruh why is this the well, worst i never though? thought this day would come a youtuber just made an apology video worse than sienna may's iconic interpretive dance for those that don't remember, Sienna May was a TikToker accused of sexual assault, and for some reason she marched into the mines of Mordor and hatched the most diabolical plan of all time, forged the worst video apology ever, where it was an interpretive dance apology. So she starts fucking <laughs> boogieing out there, doing some of this. Look at that a little bit of, A little bit of these. And by God, I'm ashamed to say it, but she even did some of this. Did he remove the doggo to do that? Just kind of down the back the dog situation. And keep in mind, it was sexual assault accusations that also had a video as well. So there was a ton of evidence. Bring and she still just tried dogu. to do like an apology interpretive dance. I did not think there would ever come a time that someone makes a worse response than that. But hooey! How hooey. wrong I was. <laughs> oh, it's Colleen! Oh, my face. wait a second. Is this about like all these allegations about her uh, shows where she was so inappropriate with kids and the way she was misbehaving and using some of her followers and subscribers to do some labor for her and stuff like that? Yeah, probably. I mean, all of these are allegations, by the way. Like, I don't know. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. A lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. That bleeding in your ears is oh. normal. This is a ukulele <laughs> apology video. She's turned her accusations and her response into a Disney musical number here, I suppose. That's she, an she's apology? got a whole little Broadway moment here to sing and talk about it. Now, before getting into it, let me give some context on what she's apologizing for. Colleen Ballinger is most known for her Miranda Sings character. If you've been on YouTube for a long time, you've definitely heard that name before. She was a massive superstar on the platform. She even had her own Netflix show. And recently, another YouTuber named Adam McIntyre has really started to spearhead this information about her past and everything that's happened to them, as well as the group chat that she used to have with a lot of her fans that were minors and the way 14, she conducted 16 herself years while uh, she was she's being been accused 30. of like asking for ass pics from her fans and again most of these fans are minor were minors at the time what she'd even send really weird videos to them it's just there's been a ton of evidence of very unacceptable shit so evidence. she's been accused of like grooming as well as being a predator and this video that she made is her response to those very serious allegations all aboard the toxic gossip train Chugging down the tracks of misinformation The toxic gossip train You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Nah, she's giving us a one-way ticket singer. to defecation station Because this is some shit here <laughs> I don't know But this is not an apology, you guys You don't apologize like it's not an apology. There is no way it's an apology video. An apology video needs to have, I am sorry, I admit my mistakes. Da, 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 there is nothing like that. This is, this is hating back. This is, uh, this is fighting back. Like, this is, I don't know what this is. This is a peaceful rebellion. <laughs> How she thought this was a good idea at all. I don't all. know. She doesn't even disprove any of the allegations. She just calls it At the this toxic point, YouTubers? gossip train. Yeah. Like it's some kind of little musical number out of Magic School Bus or something that she's not taking seriously. Exactly. In the face of very serious claims, she decides to put on the entire clown outfit and grab her trusty ukulele and go to battle. But it's not really a battle because she doesn't even really tackle any of the claims. She doesn't refute anything or defend herself. She just makes a song toxic gossip train oh she just she said hi ask me for my past these rumors look like facts if you don't mind the gaps i won't survive in the crash but hey at least you're having fun 
I'm sorry to keep pausing this so frequently. I just have so much to say. And trust me, I'm really <laughs> doing you a favor with all of these breaks here to give you a break. I mean, let's be honest. The breaks are there so she doesn't copyright you because you have to have a break here and there every couple of seconds or else it's not a commentary or a react video anymore. You know, like, it is what it is. Brief, like, respite from the uh, fucking unbelievable cringe. Like, this is some pure undiluted unhinged delusion here this is so strong i feel like it needs to be added to the periodic table like the element of delusion that she is it is so true because like she's talking about her own truth but she's not sharing her own perspective and truth to the situation so she's not even giving us a bone she's not even giving us anything that even if we want to side with her to be able to reason and side with her you know, and be like, yeah, you're right. Like, the, it's as if she, she could simply just admit that everything that was said was right. Because nowhere she said it's not. You know, in a way, maybe she did, but not really. Like, what do you want me to read between the lines? You want to make it harder for me to believe you? I thought it's the other way around. I thought with an apology video, you are making it easier for people to believe you and side with you. That's the whole purpose of an apology video. It's displaying here. Like, this song is fucking haunted, honestly. This is like that track out of Courage a Cowardly Dog with Velvet Vic, where it, like, sucks you into the, the record player. That's this song, but it sucks you into a group chat where she's, like, asking about your first period and asking for ass pics or something. But the reason I'm pausing it here is because this is something she falls back on a lot in the song, and I don't want to just keep playing too much of the song. She seems to think that a lot of people are taking pleasure in watching all of this and says like, oh, it's all untrue, but you're just doing it because it's entertaining and you're having fun. I've never fully understood that perspective because I imagine most people don't have fun learning that people they grew up watching or people they were at least aware of being a big exactly. influence turned out to be absolute fucking scumbags groomers predators all these horrible things like yep. no one has fun with accusations like that i don't think certainly not the victims of it the victims of miranda sings colleen ballinger here definitely aren't having any fun here this has been mentally damaging shit that they've carried for a long time now i, I do think there is an argument to be made about like youtuber apologies as entertainment i, I made a whole fucking tier yeah list that's on it. true there is an element of fun to watching a completely disconnected from reality weirdo yeah do something like Miranda Sings has done with this fucking singing apology. It's hard not to point and laugh at the absolute insanity of that situation. But in those cases, no one's laughing about the actual allegations. Nobody wants someone in a position of power like Miranda Sings, Colleen Ballinger, to turn out to be a groomer or a, a predator. Uh, no one wants that. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say, so. Holy shit, she's done it. She's activating 100% <laughs> of her brain. What an incredible loophole. Checkmate, lawyers. Her legal team must have been there like, no. <laughs> she got <laughs> Checkmate, lawyers. The whole point is, like, don't say anything that could be taken against you. Even if you sing it, you're still saying it. <laughs> you know? Like, what is this, man? How do, like, grown-ass people don't understand the concept? Like, I, if, if she was a child, I would get it. But she's not a child. Got us. <laughs> How did we not think of that? We never said she couldn't sing it. What? Damn. She's good. Yeah. <laughs> Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. There, there were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. Let's go on the toxic gossip train. If you have anything to refute the claims, why don't you present it instead of doing your little talent show ukulele I act? mean... She's saying that this video, in the beginning of the song, she's saying that she's only going to be talking about the facts. 
and then provides nothing. Yeah, the fact... like there is no facts. Like she just admitted that she did contact these people and overshared. But she never explained why and what. You know, so now I'm sitting here and now I only can believe everything that everyone is saying about what she shared with them. Like the guy said she asked for a butt pic. Is that the 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 the, the loser oversharing that she's talking about? <laughs> Make me understand. X must have been out of town during the filming of this because she does not present them at all. She doesn't provide anything to refute any of the claims. All she does is say like, no, that's all wrong. Uh, those aren't the facts. You guys are falling for the toxic gossip train. Misinformation super duper but station. Whatever. <laughs> like but she doesn't station. actually provide any evidence. <laughs> any actually the song is a jam, bro. <laughs> nothing. All she does is just say that it's a lie. That's it. And I guess you're supposed to take her at her word because she's not only it. Like, that. It doesn't make any sense. She this even is just said that invalidating to she all did her share. victims. Like this is she is like actually like laughing in their face with this video, I feel. It's pretty disgusting, actually. I, I, I don't understand how she thought this could possibly per be perceived in any meaningful way. Because positive she doesn't admit that she did anything wrong. She doesn't see these people as victims, the way they victimize themselves or the way they portray themselves to us. It's on you to believe if they are the victims or not. And we do have facts. If you have eyes, you can see. You do see all of these things. So it's easy for you to believe that, yes, they are the victims. And she is not making it hard for us to believe that they are the victims. Like, you, 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 I don't get it. I really don't understand. Like, positive way. Does she think like just thinking, singing it, and not admitting it that it's gonna just go by? Like this thing has been. I I know about this Colleen drama since years. It keeps resurfacing over and over and over again. And I feel like we are at this point where she really needs to deal with it. You can't just keep ignoring it. You know, now it's the pressure is there. Everybody's talking about it. Because again, she doesn't defend herself. She doesn't refute any of the claims of all of like the grooming accusations. If she thinks that all of this is overblown or incorrect, why wouldn't she come forward with her evidence to support that and say like, nope, this is where all of this is wrong. This is where it's false. This is where you've been lied to and manipulated. She doesn't do that. All she has here is this dumb little fucking song. I, I, I just can't even wrap my head around the thought yeah. process. Yeah, I think I saw... I'm sorry to, to uh, pause one more time. I think I saw this one clip of her show where uh, there she... It's, it's, like a, it's like a part of her show where she repeated it in every city or every place she visited. Uh, she brings one kid to the stage. She's sitting and then she asks that child to put his hands in her uh, in her pants to get something out. And every time the kid starts to like try to put his hands, she's like pretending it's sexual or funny, you know? It's a child, you know? And that's traumatizing. Those are the victims we are talking about, you know? And like the, the kid doesn't know really maybe what's going on, but the grown-ups know and it's not funny. It's not funny to be like, ooh, a child is like almost touching it, you know, like that is not funny. And she portrayed it as funny and the, and the people in the crowd were laughing back then. Don't get me wrong. It was like, I don't know, apparently entertaining and she repeated it on multiple times. It was a part of the show. But when you think back, like, no, that was not all right. Why she never mentioned that? Why she doesn't say, okay, maybe, or now when I look back at it, it was not all right, but I was advised by my own team that our managers or whatever, that this is a good part of the show. It wasn't all on me. I'm not the one who creates these sitcoms or I don't know, you know, like these parts. She could just say it and say, I'm sorry if any of you felt a certain way. I'm sorry to the people who are victimizing that. Like that's, that's the least you can do. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, <laughs> you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes. And it's something that I will continue to try to do. No, you're not. Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability. But 
that's not the point of your mom mentality, is it? No. No, it is actually. And don't look at me from down to up. I actually do want you to be accountable for what you did. Why does she think we don't care? We do care about her apologizing. Weird. Weird. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Once again, this is just like shitting on the victims that have come forward. There are tons and tons of messages. I'm thinking that everyone's well a videos, hater. Like a, just an overwhelming amount of evidence that's all pretty damning on Colleen Ballinger's behavior from these group chats, uh, as well yeah. as just a lot of other things over the years. And in the song, she just reduces that to, ah, I was just a weird loser sending cringe. It was just a goofball doing loser weird stuff. And then still has the audacity to sing about how she's taking accountability. What the fuck? That's the opposite of accountability. <laughs> You're minimizing, downplaying exactly. the very real harm you caused to your underage fans through these group chats, these interactions, and all the shit that you said and sent. That That's not taking accountability. You are literally doing the exact opposite by saying, like, it's really not that big of a deal. It's just kind of weird. That's all. And then she goes in to just say about, like, it, this is just directly shitting on the victims. She goes then into the next part saying that the reason there's a mob mentality is because they're coming forward with all of these lies to monetize her demise because they don't like her. Well, Colleen Ballinger, let's supersize the McDonald's fries here. You're fucking insane. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh how could you God. even like actually put this out there? I don't know how she could not only write this song, perform this song, and this is definitely not her first take, so go through this song multiple times, edit it, and then post this without realizing just how... I don't even know the right word. It's like, it's like almost downright evil she comes across. Yeah. Because, again, this is true. like spitting in the face of all the victims it that is. have come forward with a ton of evidence against her, saying it's not a big deal, they're wrong, they're just doing it for clout. It's and so, plus it's, it's mean. so sick It's mean towards <laughs> us. It's mean, it, like, we really are not the haters. We really don't want to see you suffer. We really don't want to see anyone suffer. And we really, like... We do care about the apology and the sincerity behind it. Like, even though I don't personally watch her, I don't think she's a bad person. And I don't want to see any YouTuber out there who is nice as a person and who is entertaining and respectful and whatnot to lose their career for some minor, I would say, I don't know if they are minor mistakes, but like mistakes they made in the past and they should just apologize and learn from them. We're not haters. <laughs> I'm not a hater. I already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that all of you are perfect. So please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. This is going to come as a surprise. This is going to be shocking. But yeah, most people aren't making mistakes like this. This isn't one of those like whoops-a-daisy mistakes that everyone makes in their life. Most normal people are going to go through their life without ever doing anything close to what you're accused of doing. Talking sexually with minors in a group chat, sending used underwear to kids. The list goes on and on and she beats this point home oh my about God. like how she's just made like a little mistake here and it doesn't make her a bad person. Ew. But this is again one of those mistakes that like actually does make you a bad person. Yeah. This isn't like a little that's, that's mistake. Really, like bad. she makes it sound like, oh, you don't have the right to criticize me because you're not perfect. Your past isn't perfect. But most people's past isn't exactly one that's plagued by degeneracy like this. So no one's perfect, of course, but that doesn't mean that people don't have the right to criticize you for just how ridiculously awful the shit that you are accused of doing is. And also how terrible this response is. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. in the wrong well i'm sorry i'm not gonna take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout once again just so it's all a lies big and fat rumors. loogie in the face of every victim that came forward yeah. here if these are all lies and just rumors why don't you prove your side of it why don't you provide any evidence beyond just a song that yeah. says things without showing things or proving things there is nothing presented here that refutes a single claim at all. She's just singing things. And that's it. That's not evidence. The video and song goes on for like another four or five minutes, but she just keeps saying the same thing about how it's all lies and manipulation. But she doesn't 
prove any of that why wouldn't you want to like actually clear your name i don't know what she thought this song would do yeah it doesn't offer any kind of explanation nothing. for anything to clear up what she's calling lies and rumors it's nothing it, it, there is mountains of like actual messages and videos of her engaging in very very bad behavior very awful things which has led to people labeling her things like a groomer and a predator which she really doesn't like but that's what all of these uh documents lead towards point towards and she does nothing to refute any of it except make this absolutely embarrassing song out of it it's baffling i couldn't believe this shit today so yeah, like I said, I'm not going to play the rest of the video because she just keeps saying it's all lies, it's just rumors, it's, you, it's ridiculous, I can't believe you guys fell for it. But doesn't provide any kind of actual counterpoints or evidence or anything, so it's fucking useless. This is, mm. I do think, the new worst YouTuber apology video. <laughs> and that's it's not that's even an apology not, video. That's the only not thing, an easy feat She once said sorry, so but not why. for, not as an that's apology. That's really about it. See so, yeah. Yeah, that's terrible. That oh my god, she even made a video Welcome about it. I'm not. I'm literally not gonna watch everything. I just want to see her point of view for I'm a second. I'm in section. I'm Brett Cooper. We have a bit of an update episode today. I'm very excited. This is a traditional comment section episode, so but loud. I am gonna be doing sort of a long form reaction because this video is very long. Oh, I hope so she's not gonna it. sit and it watch it. It is so it. worth it. It is so cringe. Now, a few weeks ago, we did an episode about Miranda Sings, aka Colleen Ballinger, so and the accusations made against her by her former young fan. Now, accusations of exploiting them, getting free. You know what? I think instead. Okay, so we all do it. I think if I go to like and write Miranda, the end of Miranda Welcome Sings, and she made this two weeks ago, by the way. Comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So we this is before the apology video. A little bit of internet drama today. I just want to show you. I think. I think she. I think I saw it on her video. Colleen Ballinger, YouTuber known for her character Miranda Sings, is under fire for engaging in a pattern of inappropriate behavior with underage fans. She is being accused of grooming, manipulating fans into doing free labor for her, bullying, and more. Um, I literally want to show you... Maybe she shows the video. Let's see. Yep, there it is. There is the video that I was talking about. For a snack. And so now, watch this. We're on the date, James. It's really romantic. Oh, we're getting close and personal. Oh, but I'm so hungry, James. Hold on, I got a snack. <laughs> oh, so she's the was one who puts her- Was this in your self-help book? Was this in my self-help book? Was it? Because I brought self-help with me and I was just wondering. Well, shouldn't you know if you've read it? <laughs> I'm just kidding, James. I'm just kidding. I love you. I'm just kidding. She wants to leave. He wants to leave. The kid. Um, I love him. I can't. I'm sorry, but this is so inappropriate. If this was my kid, I would not allow my kid to do something like this. It doesn't matter if it's funny or fun or it's just a candy in her pocket. You see the message, right? You see, this, I don't want to teach my kid that it's all right to put his pa his hands into a woman's pants to try to find candy inside. You know? <laughs> I believe I'm reaching in there right now. <laughs> Even the kid is saying, I can't believe I'm reaching in there. There. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Me neither. It's just like, obviously people are laughing at this and it's like, oh, it's so funny. She keeps like cheese, like sh Miranda, the character kept like cheese balls in her pants. But did nobody think that maybe this was a bit odd that a nine-year-old boy that she's bringing on stage to pretend like they're on a date is reaching in her pants and his parents are just laughing about it and the audience is just laughing about this it. This is so weird. And it, uh, it kept happening. Oh, I'm so Okay, before we even get into the weirder part, like, who thinks this is funny? Who gave this person a platform? I mean, there are kids who like that. Come on, like, kids are weird. You know, I'm sure the parents don't enjoy it as much, but some kids do. This is so dumb. The humor is so dumb. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Why, why does she have a live show? Like, I genuinely don't know. You 
smell fertile to a kid? Nah, 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 we're done. So this is the thing that we wanted her to apologize for. Toxic traits. <laughs> 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 <laughs>